Hi, Teague Nation. I'm Courtney, and I'm the office coordinator for the fraternity. I'm also a FIMU from IUPUI, and I'm married to a Teague. Hi, I'm Kendall. I am the Teague sweetheart for Upsan Iota, and I'm um, joining here today to talk more about the sweetheart. Hi, Jill Thompson. I am not a FIMU from IUPUI, like the both of them. I'm an <laughs> Alpha Z Delta from Indiana University, and I am the annual fund manager for the TKE Educational Foundation. Um, the foundation supports the operation of the fraternity, for those of you who don't know. So we support programs like the regional leadership conferences, the leadership academy, and the scholarship program, including our annual sweetheart award. So I am one month into the job, and I'm very excited to be here with Courtney and Kendall to learn more about um, being a chapter sweetheart, the international sweetheart program and scholarship process, um, and how we select that sweetheart. Um, so I'm going to ask them some questions because they have a lot more longevity with Teak <laughs> than I do, especially Courtney, who she's married to a Teak. So Courtney, what's your most memorable experience being involved with TKE? I think one of the most memorable experiences is just being involved with them um, all the way from my freshman year in college all the way to when I graduated. And as soon as I graduated, I got married to a Teak. Um, been with them oh, 10 years now, um, awesome. married five. Um, so <laughs> just being involved with them and also the philanthropy aspect of it, that's huge in Greek life. Ours was Children's Miracle Network, so I went to Riley and there's a St. Jude. So that aspect of it, and then also when we got married, the fact that all the Teaks were there supporting me as well as supporting him and there's just an awesome experience. And then one of the more recent experiences would be all the fraternity staff members um, took and lavaliered all of the women on staff. So it was really neat to have them um, supporting us and get down on one knee and sing the Sweetheart song to us. Um, and it was just a really cool experience. So you, know, you had the Sweetheart song sung to you as well. I, what was that experience like <laughs> for you? <laughs> um, they definitely sang the song. <laughs> a little off tune, but it's OK. I enjoyed it. Um, I had no idea they were coming into my chapter that day, and it seemed like everyone else in the chapter knew except for me. It was kind of one of those things where I was like, who's getting the candle passing? Who's like, what's <laughs> going on today? And um, they came in and sang, and it was really sweet. They also brought me um, a few gifts. I know I got a like teak fanny pack, a hat, <laughs> uh, I got a card. I actually keep the card in my planner so that they get to, like, that. that they all signed. Um, but yeah, that was like how I got Sweethearted, I guess, that's, or that's awesome. you know. So what's been your favorite thing about being the sweetheart? Uh, my favorite thing is probably the brotherhood. Like, I love those guys. They're really nice. Like, they've always been there for me from the beginning. We've, like, um, we joined or the fall 15 class, and I joined almost exactly the same time. So we actually had a social with them my first uh, week in by meal, and it was really nice because I just met so many of them at once, and you could tell, like, I mean, she's married to a team from IUPUI, <laughs> and she was a me at IUPUI. Like, we just clicked immediately our chapter in theirs, and that was just kind of the best thing. Yeah. So what drew you to that group of guys? Uh, they're very fun-loving and loud, much like myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's probably the best part about them. They are, they're like, um, yeah, I can't think of the right word for it, but they're just very genuine guys, I think. I've never been around them and not felt very comfortable and or like I feel like one of the guys when I'm with them. Yeah, like they're like your big brothers in one yes. sense. Yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely. Cool. That's cool. Um, Courtney, you know a lot more history about um, the International Sweetheart Program. Can you tell us a little bit of the history about the program? Yeah, so um, a little bit about the history of the International Sweetheart. It all started back in 1953, and that's when Ronald Reagan helped in um, picking the nominees for the Sweetheart. The first Sweetheart was actually Joan Crawford, and we still currently select the Sweetheart every year. And um, Kendall, if you want to tell us a little bit more about being the sweetheart from the Upsilon Iota chapter. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I've been the sweetheart for them for a year and a half now. And like I said, I just love being incorporated into their brotherhood. Um, for me, that means supporting them at murals, but also like supporting at philanthropy events. Like she said, we're, um, they're St. Jude's and we're Children's Miracle Network. So I really do like truly love their philanthropy. Um, so I go to their events. I make sure that I, uh, what's it called? I get the word out to my chapter. I tell them all the time, like, hey, this is happening. Hey, this is happening. You can buy a shirt here. This is what the shirt looks like. You know, like, you can donate here. And so that's kind of like one of my favorite parts about um, her philanthropy and getting involved in that. Uh, something else that we're, I'm really involved in is my schoolwork this semester. I recently changed my major to informatics, and I'm enjoying all my classes. So I'm really hoping to get straight A's and maybe <laughs> Dean's List again this semester. But um, that's like my main focus as of right now, um, along with 
our service events for Find Neo. Mm -hmm. I served on exec for them um, last spring, and I've also um, really enjoyed our um, big, like, it's March 3rd this year, which is my birthday. <laughs> but it's Jagathon, it's a big dance marathon, and we've been top fundraiser for years, so I'm really excited about getting to do that. We dance for like 13.1 hours, and we're on our feet the whole time, so that's a really exciting part about going to IUPUI and being involved on campus. Um, but these are just some of the things that a uh, sweetheart would want to put into their application. They're things to look for, GPA, uh, their um, honors awards, any kind of awards that they have, and, <laughs> sorry, and then, um, and then if there's any extracurricular activities they're involved in and anything like that. Yeah, so that's a big part that we look at for the applications is just how your involvement on campus, your GPA and the major, and then also how involved you are with your local chapter. Um, that's an important piece. They write a letter as well. So it's very important to make sure to submit everything on there. One important thing as well is that you do not have to be engaged or pinned to become the International Sweetheart. Um, you actually do not have to be the current sweetheart either, but you can be to apply, and, um, but you do have to be enrolled in school. So that is one important thing that you do have to be enrolled in school in order to apply to be the International Sweetheart. And then a little bit about the application process. Um, you guys submit the applications and then we take a look at them for everything that we just mentioned. And then the offices of the Green Chapter, um, a staff actually pit, narrow it down based on those. And then after that, we take and release it back to you guys. And the members actually are the ones that vote and select the International Sweetheart. And then the International Sweetheart receives a $500 scholarship. And um, you get that from the Teak Educational Foundation. And I forgot to mention earlier, if anyone wants to um, share some love about their sweetheart, please go ahead and comment. Um, sweethearts, you can comment on the guys. Guys, um, comment on your sweethearts. We'll try to read those out as we go. Um, but just a reminder that our deadline for scholarship applications, all scholarship applications, is March the 15th. Um, gentlemen, you can apply um, for the nearly $100,000 um, by going to um, tke.org backslash scholarships. Um, the Sweetheart Scholarship is available at tk.org as well, um, backslash Sweetheart. So be sure to apply for those. Um, so I just want to give a huge shout out to the Sweethearts um, that are taking over all of the social media. Uh, you can follow any of them on tke underscore Sweethearts on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, they've shown me a lot of love on their pages, so I really appreciate that. And um, also, I urge all the Sweethearts to go ahead and <laughs> Um, join or join that community. It's really nice to just see what the other sweethearts are doing and how they're really engaging with their chapters. Yeah, so I just wanted to reiterate that. We want to thank all the sweethearts out there. It's an important part that Teak supports the sweethearts and then we support you guys as well. Um, and with that being said, another opportunity to be involved is the um, coming to Conclave. So the last Conclave, we had some um, sweethearts join us for the Friends and Family Program down in New Orleans. The next Conclave is in Orlando next year, and we would love to have some of the current sweethearts, and then the International Sweetheart will be there as well, whoever is selected, and uh, she will be crowned there, so you can be there with all of the teaks that are there and meet a lot of people from around the nation, and then see the International Sweetheart be crowned there at Conclave in August of uh, 2019. Kendall's going to getting some love on, yeah. on our, <laughs> our female, so that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Shout out to Amy and Patrick. <laughs> Don't mind making those battles for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall, anything else that you want to share today um, about your experience? Yeah, so I just really think that I really urge the sweethearts if the, or to apply for this. I applied last year, and it was like a really good experience. I also made or was in contact with the other sweethearts that were finalists in it, and I thought that was really cool just to have um, all that extra um, support that I, I mean, I knew I had the support of my chapter, but to have the support of other sweethearts was really nice, so really enjoyed that and I also or oh, my chapter <laughs> um, I also um, urge the guys to if your sweetheart's on the edge about like submitting an application tell them to do it that's what the guys had to do for me and I really was so happy that they did yeah and then lastly just make sure that you um, the guys are out there voting once the applicant or once the um, final are out there make sure that you guys select the best one out there for the international sweetheart so just one more reminder, all scholarship applications are due on March the 15th. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day.